Again, my goal of the first video was to spread positivity to as many people as I possibly could. Ironically, I wasn't really in the most positive mindset when I finished editing the video. By now, you probably figured I'm a pretty outgoing person in general, and that's true. But when it comes to exposing my creative side to the world, I can become very shy and defensive. I made that video with the intention of sharing it with others, so why was I becoming so defensive when it came to actually putting it out to the world? The answer? I'm human. And being human comes with insecurities and imperfections built in. None of us are free from these imperfections. Insecurities or imperfections are just reminders that we need to step out of our comfort zone to go truly find our success. But as humans, creativity and the ability to inspire ourselves and others also comes pre-installed. I think one important definition of creativity that often gets overlooked is that creativity in and of itself is an ability. It's the ability to take an idea out of our head and describe it and manipulate it and put it into the world in such a way that it connects and passes a message on to another person. That can manifest itself in a song or a poetry or a piece of artwork or even a TV show. Think of all the times you've experienced something that resonated with you so deeply that you just couldn't stop thinking about it. That's the power of the creator's creativity connecting with you. And because we all are the creators of our own destiny, we are whatever we choose to be, which means we're as creative as we choose to be. If we dream big, we'll live big because our creativity will create the path for us to get there. If we dream small or think, oh, that other guy's success is just an exception, I can't have that. Well, that's exactly what it's gonna be. Words themselves are expressions of creativity. Somewhere along the lines of our life, we learned that only those who can sing or draw a nice picture are the creative ones. And we can thank bad art teachers and the myth of objective creativity for that. Hold on tight, we're about to get real philosophical. Ideas, thoughts, feelings, emotions, all of these are abstract entities. That is, we think of them and describe them in words, but they are far, far more than just words themselves. Ever had a feeling that you just couldn't express in words, but you knew you felt incredibly strongly about? Every time we even attempt to convey these feelings in words, we're flexing that inner creativity. Every time we flex that inner creativity, we get better at doing it. Think about it. You're describing something that doesn't even exist in the universe, putting it into words and passing it to another person so that they in turn understand what you're saying. We do this from childhood, from the day we say our first word. Before we learn to speak as babies, we cry to effectively convey our points. Once we learn how to put our thoughts into words, that's the day we start talking. Don't let artists and singers take all the credit. Take your creative credit back! It was necessary to describe creativity at length because creativity is a major key on the path to our dreams and goals. See what I did there? Now if I haven't philosophized you to death, good, because this is an important part. Much better. The more ways we can use words to describe our dreams in explicit detail, the more ways we begin to live those dreams instead of just thinking them. And don't just take it from me. Check out this clip with Jim Carrey back in the 90s somewhere here. 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 That's why it's so important to write down your life goals. Because as you begin to write them down, you can start to add more and more details to the picture so it becomes a masterpiece. And remember, we're human, so it's super easy to think that, man, I wrote down those life goals that one time and they never came true. Why would I want to do it again? Well, every time you write something down it doesn't come out exactly how you wanted it to, that's life saying, nah, homie, we got a few more details to add before we can call this a masterpiece. So, what's that masterpiece going to be?